Hi Virgo, this is your weekly love reading for the 14th to the 20th of May 2019. And as I always say, if this does not resonate with you, please check with your moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter. So let's see what is happening with Virgo. What is coming towards them in love and what is going away? It's a time to let go, you know, with the full moon happening and Scorpio, which is your third house. Yeah, so maybe it's to do with your neighbors, your relatives, your siblings. Maybe there are certain things you will come to realize that some behaviors that you need to let go of or some people you need to let go of or you need to reconcile. And your fellow earth sign, Taurus, having so many planets over there. Yeah, so a lot of action time for you. Okay, I'm sorry. I just need some water. All right. Virgo. Please show me for this for Virgo. What is for Virgo? What is for Virgo? What is Virgo need to know? What is Virgo need to see? Virgo, you're the queen of souls, cutting through all the bullshit. Only the truth interests you, nothing more. You're seeing the truth. The other person is a king of souls. Oh my God, what a match. You've found your match. You both are talking about truths now. It's time to say the truth to each other. Okay? Okay, you are the ace of souls. Look at you. Some communication, some, maybe you started communicating with somebody and you're demanding some truth or saying some truth, you know. It's something towards victory, towards achievement, towards, you know, something that you've been holding back. Now is the time you're opening, you, you're saying your truth or you want to see the truth. The other person, the wheel of fortune, okay. So this person is now very, very knowledgeable. This person is, the person you're connecting with is very knowledgeable. Times are changing for them. They're coming into good fortune. And uh, let's see the mutual energy. The five of pentacles. Okay, you both had gone through some financial losses maybe in the past. And the sun, beautiful. So things are looking up to you now, both of you. Underlying energy. Eight of cups, okay. Let Letting go. Maybe there are a lot of things you have let go of or you had, le you had let go of the relationship, you know. You had just let this relationship go or they had let go of you. So yeah. What I see is here, Virgo, you are ready to now speak your truth. And maybe you've started communication with some person and there are certain things, you know, maybe this is a relationship that had ended in the past. You know, you both had left each other, not for permanent, but just let each other go. So now you're ready to communicate with this person with your truth. And you've started. You want this communication to start. You're initiating it. But looking for victory. You want to be very clear. You want to clear certain things that have been bothering you. You want to clear it to them. This could be you or the other person. As you know, tarot, the energies can reverse. <coughs> the other person I see is the king of swords, very knowledgeable, knows everything now, you can't really, it's your match, okay, you're the queen of swords, so they are the king of swords, it's your match, if you are willing to see and speak the truth, they are willing, they are doing that too, they talk only the truth, they are 
they will stand by what is honest, what is right. Okay? And they, the times are changing for them. Things have changed for them. Things have changed in their life too. So now you want to move ahead towards them with a hope of reconciliation, victory. It's a very small but a first step towards communicating with them. But for them, you know, I see the world has changed. And maybe you both parted ways because of money. Maybe there were financial issues both of you were facing. Or there had been losses. There had been losses in the past. You both lost a part of you or something, something to do with material, which left both of you, you know, out in the cold. You both felt dejected. You both, and you both are very proud people. Whoever you're connecting with, you both are very proud. You both will not ask for help from others. Yeah, there would be others advising you and the other person, but with, I don't think either of you are willing to listen to others. You'll listen to them, but it's not that you'll follow their advice, okay? But you've lost those pentacles, but there's a pentacle hanging right above your head and you both are not seeing it. You both were crying over the spilt milk. You know, you both were missing those four pentacles that are here. But you both don't see the fifth pentacle that is hanging right above your head. You see this? Yeah. There's a pentacle right above your head. All you need to do is look up and see that opportunity there. So you both, you both are similar. And now comes the sun card. It actually throws light you both are ready to restart again with more positivity. You both have done with all the negativity. You both are now... It's the truth for you, both of you. It's the truth or nothing. Okay? And it's a very good energy for both of you. It's the sun. It's a healing energy. It's like that spirit. So let's forget what has happened and let's start fresh. Enough. Let's not bring the past in, in our discussions. Let's connect. Let's let's see. Let's see the way forward. Okay? So let's see what is what's more. What's more? This is nice. And it's like you both met your match. I mean in terms of knowledge, in terms of everything, it's like your match. This person, the other person is your match. And you both are very honest. None of you are, I don't see both doing bad to each other. It's like you both are honest. You both stand up. Maybe your, the, your truth and their truth differs. So there could have been a clash of opinion, but you both meant well to each other. Okay? You didn't mean to harm each other. Okay, your energy. The Four of Cups. Okay, you are bored. You were bored with whatever was happening in your life. You felt nothing is happening. You felt stuck. You felt bored. The other person, Ace of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands. Okay, they want a beginning, a passionate new beginning. That's the reason. The sun, it's, it's a sun card, you know. So they, they want a new beginning with you. Uh, something which is which has the potential to grow into something. You have the Ace of Swords, they have the Ace of Wands. So you want to open the doors with truth. You want to highlight on what held you back. They want a fresh beginning with you with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. But this time it's more with passion, it's more with you know, new, new zeal, new uh, a fresh new energy altogether okay you are the hierophant okay so it, it could have been an issue in the past regarding marriage maybe they wanted commitment you were not ready to commit or you wanted commitment they were not ready to commit or you were already in a relationship and 
so you couldn't comment. Could be. Some Virgos, it could be that you were already in a relationship and that's the reason you couldn't commit towards this person. So now with that, so you felt stuck. You didn't know what to do. But now you're ready to speak your truth. Maybe you've done with that relationship and now you want to come ahead. But this time you want to be very clear on where you stand and what you want and what you're going to do. No more hide and seek and no more hiding stuff from each other but saying the truth. Okay? Good, bad, but it's the truth. And the other person wants a, has a lot of passion for you, wants a passionate new beginning with you, you know, can't just let go of you, thinks of you, but things have changed for them too. And the Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands with the Knight of Wands, yeah, they want to charge towards you. They're just waiting for you to, because now they, they know, they know better than you. They know what is what. They know where they stand. They know where you stand. So the moment you approach, they're going to rush in. They're going to rush in. The moment you approach, you open up, you open the door slightly and they're going to barge in. Because they're so full of, you both are full of new energy. Mutual. King of Cups, you both are very emotionally stable now. You both are very emotionally stable. You're not, I mean, even if this person charges towards you with passion, will not be that emotional fool that person used to be in the past. And even if you speak your truth and start communication with this person, you are not going to you know, overshow your emotion and the Queen of Cups. So this is this is synchronous. This is synchronicity, Virgos. Virgo, you are the King Queen of Swords. They are the King of Swords. Mutually, you are the King of Waters or King of Cups. They are the Queen of Cups. So it's, it's your match. You are a match. No matter how far you both had been, no matter where you both, no matter how much you tried to ignore each other or left each other, but destiny brings you back together. That's why the sun is here. So no matter how many pennies were lost, how many milks was spilled, doesn't matter. You're destined to be together. The sun shines upon everything. And you both know things have changed for them. Things have changed. You are more stable. You're, you are also thinking about a more stable relationship with them. They are thinking about you in terms of passion. They're passionate about you. They love you. They're passionate towards you. And you want commitment, Taurian energy. So you could be connecting with a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, water sign, because there's King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Four of Cups, or it could be an air sign, fire sign, I mean everybody is here, or an earth sign. So everybody is here. So I really can't pinpoint a particular sign, but whoever it is, it's your match. Virgo, you cannot have a better match. Okay, I'm going to see the outcome because I want to see what happens when you two come together. Show me what what happens when they both come together because this is interesting. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the King of Cups with the Queen of Cups. So you both are emotionally controlled and you both are honest with each other and you both are like a match made in heaven you both are a match for each other whoever you're connecting with and I'm definite you're connecting with somebody from your past nobody knew because then this five of pentacles wouldn't have been here so and neither would have been the eight of cups so definitely an, a water sign you're reviving you're reviving the relationship towards a new victory 
They're reviving the relationship towards a passion, new beginning. So you both want a new beginning. You want a victory with them, they want passion with you. All right, so let's see the outcomes. First, please show me the outcome. This is an interesting one. It's like you both are like yin and yang. All right, let's see. Queen of Pentacles, this is you, Virgo. Zero, fool. Okay, this is the other person. They're ready to forgive you for whatever you've done. And ready to take the leap of faith. You are more grounded. You're more grounded now. Okay, and they are ready, ready to accept you back. Or you both are ready and you both are very grounded. Death, all right, you both have gone through transformation. You could be connecting with a cancer because I would suggest please go, please watch the cancer video because cancer had transformation, death, they also have the hermit, so it, it could be that you're connecting with a cancer, but you both are going to go through transformation or already have gone through transformation, and that is why the sun is here. If they're mutual, because that is all about transformation, right? The sun shines and you realize, you get this feeling that, oh, I've been so wrong all my life. I need to restart. And here comes death. Not only restart, it's like rebirth, a rechance for both of you. What did I tell you? You're connecting with somebody even in the past. Two of Pentacles. Now you know how to balance your work and your relationship and the five of swords okay there were petty fights in the past there were petty fights regarding maybe maybe there was a third party situation maybe that's the reason of this fight that's the reason of this letting go there was a third party and that's as I told you earlier with the hierophant it could also mean that you Virgo were in the third party situation or this person was the third party in your life. You were already committed somewhere else. So you were trying to effectively balance. You were trying to effectively balance both. You know, the, the existing relationship and this relationship. You were drawn towards this person. They were drawn towards you. But maybe you were still married at that point of time. And you didn't know how to balance both. So that led to fights and that is why the transformation and after the transformation you both are very grounded, emotionally balanced and ready to take the leap of faith with the sun and the fool. What else? Yeah, this third party situation, I'm sure this was a third party situation that led to sleepless nights for both of you and the two of swords. You had to decide over, you know, mind over heart. Maybe that's the reason you had to let go of that person in the past. Because you realized in order to be with this person, you need to end this first. You were bored with your marriage. I could see that. You were bored with your marriage. But now you want victory. You want to say all these truths to this person. But this person already knows. The time has changed for them. They're still passionate towards you. What is coming? The chariot. You are connecting with a cancer. Virgo. You are connecting with a Cancer. Queen of Cups, the Chariot, it has to be a Cancer. Okay? So, you both are going to take control of your life. What else? Two of Wands, the Crossroads again. And this time you're going to follow your passions. Both of you. You're going to follow. You're going to reconnect. And say your truth. Now, if that leads to you two being together, it will be together. If that means that, no, we need to go our ways, it means go our ways. Okay? But whatever it is, you want to feel light. You want to say that your share of truth. They already know, but they're waiting for you to say your truth. They still feel the passion towards you. They want to come towards you. There is a sun. There is transformation. They have gone through transformation. You have gone through transformation. Now you both are in a crossroad. What should you do? Okay. Five of Cups. You miss each other. Definitely you miss each other. You think about each other a lot. Okay. Show me one card. Outcome. The Knight of Wands. Again. 
So you both are going to charge towards each other. And when you charge towards each other, there's no stopping you. Okay? There's no stopping you. You're going to come towards each other, Virgo. That's, that's clear. That's very clear. So maybe your old relationship you've done with, you've got over it, you've moved away, you've closed the chapter, and now you're ready to reconnect with this person. Things have changed a lot for this person. <coughs> Whatever financial losses and losses you both had, this person has recovered from it. They're passionate towards you still. The sun is now shining on both of you. You both are ready to take that leap of faith. You both are ready to take control in your hand and you both are waiting to charge in towards each other. You know, because you want victory, they want passion. So Virgo, whatever it is, you met your match. You, This is your match. You met your match. Okay, oracles, give me two advice for Virgo. What should they do? Give me two advice. Give me two advice. Thank you. Explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. Of course, you want the transformation. So explore your options with this person. And make those changes. This is the time. You need to make changes. You need to let go and embrace something new. And soulmate relationship. What did I tell you? This Virgo, I have a feeling you're connecting with a cancer. Because it's the same card that came for them they had death they had soulmate relationship so you could be connecting with a cancer so if you're a cross watcher please do let me know okay please in your comments please this is very interesting if you're a cross watcher go watch cancer video too because this is so synchronized so resonating with each other a Virgo, I see you connecting with a Cancer. Or somebody who has Cancer in the charts. But it's definitely, high likely, it's a Cancer. Alright, that's all I have for you this week. So please leave a comment. This is an interesting read. So please leave a comment and let me know what is your story. Maybe it helps me pick up on your energy next time. And if you want, you can connect with me on Facebook, Discord, our email for personal readings or you can now book your readings in my website minervatero.com also don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and until next week have a wonderful time see ya